Guys, they said Oni of Ife blows hot on Auntie B. And he also ordered guards to throw her and her stuffs out of the Oluri quarters, allegedly. You know that there is this information that KBC have said it, that uh, he is working towards dissolving his marriage between him and the uh, Ikbi, as well as uh, Blue Blue. Although the women have proven stubborn uh, about it, they say Blue Blue have been bringing a lot of people to come and beg on her behalf. Her family have been coming to beg, even to the point that they even want to come and beg with a black cow, even when they know that the black cow is against Kabiesi's own uh, family. They said if had they been those people brought the black cow that they wanted to come inside the palace with, it would have brought calamity upon Kabiesi and, and his throne. So that is to say that they intentionally wanted to cause a problem for him. All in the name of begging. Then it be on the other side. Instead of her to be begging, although there was a time we heard that she brought her family members to come and beg, but she is proving more stubborn than begging from what we are hearing, allegedly. So uh, now, for that reason, KBC don't want the two of them to go to that uh, Oluri quarters and stay. Because he believed that they will corrupt the remaining four of them, even though those ones. <laughs> anyway, let me not just say what I want to say now. But the reason is that the Sekabi they don't want them to go there and stay. They can go ahead and stay anywhere they want, they like. They said Blue Blue have been staying in her family house. You know, she's from Ileife. So her own is not a, a very big problem. Ibi, on the other side, uh, Queen Naomi and, and uh, Dr. Lizzie have chase her out of the Ojaja hotel that she normally go and stay because they said that is where she normally stays without paying. So ever since they took over, they have warned her that if she must pay, if she must be staying there, she must be paying for any accommodation she's occupying. And she have left there to only God knows where. So maybe finally she decided to return back to the... Olori quarters, the same place she said over her white body will she leave the palace to go to. <laughs> this life safe. So, but on getting to that place, they said she came with a truck. A truck. She hired a truck to carry her load. You know, on getting there, uh, the the uh, remaining apartment were all locked up. Then. They started calling KBC for an approver. Let KBC approve their uh, approve it for them so that they will move in. And KBC wasn't picking, and there was so much rain for that day. They said all her stuffs got messed up with water. So when she became impatient, because they said KBC, it was almost at night that they were able to get KBC. Even when they get KBC online, they say KBC told them that she should not move in there. But because she's a stubborn and uh, uh, I don't even know the right word to describe her now, because she doesn't respect her husband, she decided to order her own guards, the security guard that she came with, to break that place. They have to break through that place and pack in her stuffs. Then... KBC finally find out about it because definitely she will find out. Yes. And it's like it was that night that she she stayed there that uh, we heard that uh, Dr. Lizzie started experiencing this uh, sleep paralysis again. <laughs> you know that that was what they did to her when she entered the palace and was not supporting them. She was supporting KBC and Queen Naomi. They started tormenting her with sleep paralysis. It was that same night that Igbi slept in that Olori quarters that they said Dr. Lizzie started experiencing that uh, sleep paralysis again. So I don't know if that is why KBS is annoyed or he is annoyed that uh, Ibi disrespected her. They said she was very, very angry when she found out that Ibi disobeyed her and they ordered the guards to break that place so that she would pack her stuffs. Then the Seka BSC gave an immediate order that whatever 
that belongs to her that is still in that Olori quarters should move out immediately without wasting time. It's not even move out, thrown out immediately. They said Kabiesi have to go there by himself to warn the security guards that if anything that looks like this woman and her stuffs get into this place again, that he is not only going to fire them, but he will get them arrested because he don't see the reason why he will give an order and she will default it. The simply means that you are challenging Kabiesi now. See, one thing about Kabiesi is that from the information we have been gathering about him, he's not quick to action. He's not quick to anger. He will just be looking at you, giving you enough time to see if you are going to repent or if you are going to turn a new leaf. But whenever he starts, he starts. Now, Kabiesi have started for all of these Oloris who doesn't want to respect themselves. They say what he is going, doing to them right now is woto woto, serious one. And the, the place that he is right now with Queen Naomi, he doesn't care about who stays or who doesn't stay as long as Queen Naomi is ready to come back to him. So the wives should be very careful if all of this information we are hearing is the truth. Because the other day we heard that... Um, Olori Kalabash was telling them that, you see right now, that he have known Kabiesi very well. And of course, he has stayed with Kabiesi for a very long time to know Kabiesi very well. They said he told them that at this point, they need to tread with caution if they still want this marriage to hold. Because Kabiesi did not give a damn. That it would take him nothing to dissolve the marriage the same way he gathered all of them at the same time. That it would take him nothing. So for that reason, they should all behave themselves and tread with caution. He's not, she's not trying to tell them not to fight or, or not to do what they need to do to ensure that Kwenami did not return. But let them do it with sense. Let them not show it to him that they really want to challenge him. Because if you try that, you are going to suffer for it. You are going to pay for it. And that is exactly what Igbi have done. And right now, she is paying for it. Yes, so if this information is true, because I will always remind you that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. When I get all of this information, I come here and share it with you. And I will also tell you that they are all alleged information, that they are not for stand information. Always bear that in mind. So right now they said EB is in tears, begging Kabiesi. But that is what she should have done Instead of taking orders by herself, she should have pleaded with him to please allow her. But, you know, she's a big woman on her own. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, they are all alleged information. Bye. Love you guys.